Well, happy Easter, everyone, and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Christy. All right, guys, look what I've made today. I have made candy Easter eggs. Now, these are three of my most popular flavors. However, I would say that the peanut butter Easter egg has to be the most popular. And I have a whole other video that shows you just how to make the peanut butter eggs. And I'll give you the link to that uh, in this video. But yeah, these are so good. I've made cherry nut, maple nut, and coconut. Delicious. I don't think I have a favorite. I'm excited to share these recipes with you. Uh, so let's get started because you know what time it is. It's time to get cooking. You will need one stick of butter and an eight ounce package of cream cheese and they need to be at room temperature. Then seven ounces of shredded coconut. This is a 14 ounce bag, so I'll be using half of this bag. Then a two pound bag of powdered sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix your butter and cream cheese together. And I like to use a rubber glove uh, for one hand and then I keep the other hand clean but then gradually add the powdered sugar just a little at a time. It's hard to do one-handed, guys. All right, then the vanilla extract. And then the coconut. And just keep mixing I then added the rest of the powdered sugar and just mix until it has a dough consistency. And here is my egg mold. And you might be able to find them at a candy supply store or online. And I line it with plastic wrap and then I push the filling inside of the egg. And the plastic wrap just makes it so much easier to uh, pull the filling right out. Then I lay it on a sheet tray lined with parchment paper. Here you can see two different sizes, and I'm gonna use the small size because I just have a little bit of filling left in my bowl. Then place your eggs in the freezer for one hour. You will need two tablespoons of pure maple syrup and some maple extract. Then you will need one stick of butter and one eight ounce package of cream cheese at room temperature, and then some nuts, and I like to use walnuts, and then a two pound bag of powdered sugar. So mix that butter and cream cheese together and gradually add your powdered sugar. Then I'm gonna add the maple syrup and the maple extract. Then the chopped walnuts, and that's about a cup. And then just keep mixing until it, it gets a nice thick dough consistency. and freeze for one hour. So you will need one stick of butter and an eight ounce package of cream cheese at room temperature, a jar of maraschino cherries, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then again, I like to use walnuts and a two pound bag of powdered sugar. Drain the liquid off of the cherries, and these happen to have stems, so I'm removing them. And then chop your cherries Mix that butter and cream cheese. Gradually add that powdered sugar. Add the vanilla extract and the chopped cherries. Then the chopped walnuts. And just keep working that powdered sugar into the filling. This particular recipe, I ended up using an additional two cups of powdered sugar. Again, place in the freezer for one hour. I like to use the almond bark dipping chocolate and I just follow the instructions on the back of the package. So I'm making a double boiler by using a sauce pot and I've just filled the water up a couple inches. Then I'm adding the melting pot and the chocolate. And I'm just stirring it until it's completely melted. Now this is my candy dipper. 
I believe this is a Pampered Chef, but if you don't have one of these, you can use a fork and knife. I've used that many times and it works well. But just dump your egg into that chocolate, lift it up, and then I just take the knife and smooth over the top. And I uh, scrape the bottom very gently just to remove any excess chocolate. And that's all there is to it. All right, so I've got all my eggs dipped. I've got my coconut, my maple nut, my cherry nut. So how do you distinguish between which egg is which? Well, let me show you. I'm gonna be using white chocolate chips. All right, so I have melted them in the microwave. I'm gonna add some pink food coloring to one bowl some orange to another one and if it starts to seize up like this is doing here and just add a teaspoon of oil and pop them back in the microwave for a few seconds Put each chocolate drizzle in a Ziploc bag. Cut a little hole in the corner of each bag. So all I'm gonna do is start to drizzle that chocolate over top of the egg. Aren't these eggs just beautiful? Now I know that there is cream cheese in each of these recipes. So yes, you will want to keep your eggs in the refrigerator. However, if they are left on the counter for a day or two, they will be okay. Um, and honestly, once you slice into them, they do not last long anyway, I'm just saying. But now is the time I want to show you what they look like on the inside. The cream cheese really does make these eggs super creamy. They're just so delicious. Mm. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful Easter celebrating the resurrection of Christ, but I will be seeing you guys soon with more delicious recipes.